Good morning, people. Happy Saturday. Come out to do a little bit of shopping so we can have some lunch by the pool today. I'm gonna treat her, I'm gonna make her a roll because I'm good like that. In I, Nick? <laughs> so I'm gonna make her a nice roll. <clears throat> um, yeah. I've cut the pints while I'm out. I'm gonna do a very British thing today, which I don't even do at home. I'm gonna go and buy a newspaper. Sit and have a read, cut the pints. Might even do the Sudoku puzzle. Nick's breakfast drink of choice. My breakfast drink of choice. I do like this tropical lager. It's very, very tasty, guys. Happy days, happy Saturday. A two euro 95 breakfast. That's cheap as chips, isn't it, guys? And a 150 pint lager. Happy days. Bit of OCDC, guys. Got a new hat to protect yourself from the sun. Got to be sensible. But a bit of gaming. Just hey, that's what we're all about. He says. Start. Now, obviously, there's going to be a load of music on this, so I'm probably going to have to edit it out. Tilt the machine, it stops your flippers working. Nine point eight million. Enjoyed that, good game. House of the Dead arcade machine, the Walking Dead. Got some nice new modern stuff in here. It's good. Bit of video footage from my man Alan here. Um, that's his view there. But he always stays down here. And uh, that's his bar right there. He sits in there all day, don't you, Al? The tequila cocktail bar. There it is, mate. Unfortunately, your mate Julio ain't outside today. But we're keep walking down here because he, he likes this bit of the strip because that's his local when he's here and then he stays in these apartments here and he always gets one <laughs> overlooking the sea and he <laughs> when he's not in a tequila lounge he sat on this balcony one of these balconies here <laughs> he gets one of these apartments here he loves it um it's usually one of these ones though i stayed out here once with him and we shared an apartment. That's it, one of them there, up there. Rocos Blancos. Yeah, I think we had that second to last one, just under the ES before. So there you go. So there you go, Mr. B. Thinking of you, look. Filming your favorite spots for you, because I'm nice like that. Anyway, a little stroll and uh, back to the villa, I think. Saturday night, guys, and we've decided that we're gonna stay in. We've just watched a bit of television. And to be honest, it's uh, the old clock's ticking and all that. And we've decided just to have a nice bread roll for our tea. Nothing heavy. A couple of beers. A bit of an earlier night, I think. It's, it's this heat, you know, guys. It takes it out of us. So anyway, so that's us. So a very boring Saturday evening. Badger, you know what? A very enjoyable Saturday evening too, guys. See you for Sunday. Good morning, people. It's Sunday. Sunday morning still just. Now, I've had a walk down at one end of the strip today, and this is the Avenue d'Italia. So this is sort of where the, the strip begins, really, for me. But the bars and that along here hold a lot of sentimental value because the old man, my dad, bless him, used to come here on holiday all the time. And we'd always stay up here. We'd stay in various apartments up here or or over there, one the complex there, he stayed there once. But there's a few bars this end that he used to frequent with mum. So uh, I'm gonna go and revisit them, if they're open of course, because it's Sunday morning, I know, yeah, you know, a bit of religion and all that, so uh, rock and roll, let's go to my church. This is the first bar along the strip and it's upstairs. It's now called Spoon. It wasn't called this when uh, the old man used to come up here, but it's beautiful sea views as you can see. And Mrs. OG, of course, and uh, cold beers. And we decided to have a little bit of breakfast dinner as well. I opted for a bake, uh, well, a sausage sandwich, but them chips were extra, they were lovely. And uh, Nick went for them pancakes. She does love her pancakes. 
So this was the bit of strip the old man liked. We just stopped in that bar back there. It was literally the first bar you come to and it's on an upper level. So beautiful sea views. You see the old planes coming in and all that stuff. And then there was a few bars along here he liked to use. So we'll be popping in them as well. Next one we had was just round here, guys. It was a, uh, there's a little, little um, square around here. A few bowls, and that's the one. He used to come in here quite a lot. The owl and the pussycat at the end there. Nice little sun trap. So I'll pop in there for one. Owl and the pussycat. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Nick. Always a good little square, this, and we used to frequent all these bars whenever I popped over with him. Happy days. That was the owl and the pussycat bar there. I had a quick one in there. Oh, the next one's only across the road. <sighs> so it's hot again today, guys. So I'm going to go over here next. Over there, it's the Hawaiian bar. We used to go in there occasionally. So I'm going to pop in there next. I've literally only crossed the road. This is a tough life, guys. Uh, over here, right there. <laughs> Top dude. Now, unfortunately, due to copyright strikes, these bars are playing music, so you have to have my voice over instead. But trust me, it was a cold, wet beer. Find myself in one of these tat shops. Now, there's loads of these along the uh, along the strip there, and uh, you end up walking around seeing some old tat. But you do spot the old bit of Super Mario and stuff. So uh, that's what I'm finding this one, guys. Mario. Charizard, Pikachu there, look. More booby type cups. Cause you never get enough, can you? But yeah, look at these, these are cool. Look at the cats. I like that one. Nick likes that, shall I buy it for her? He says yes. <laughs> shall I take you home with me? Yes, he says. <laughs> Just saw these little Mario key ringy things. Some dodgy Pokemon cards there. They're Proper genuine now, I reckon, don't you? <laughs> oh well, enjoy looking at the tack, guys. I do. Make my way down the strip, come across the tiny bar, guys. It's down there. Now I'm gonna take you in there, we're gonna have a pint in there. My old man liked it in there. So much so, he even got a little apartment one year, just, just along from it. So uh, we're gonna pop in there and have a beer. He has great memories of that, but hey, I'm about to show you something in there that's very, very impressive. <laughs> Oh, it is. The old man always come in here, so... Uh... So, as you can see, it's a very, very small bar. But, mate, trust me, it's worth it just for that window view alone. It's got to be one of the best bars with the best views you've ever seen, guys. I mean, this bar existed well before we had micropubs in the UK. This has to be the original micro pub. Stunning, must check it out. So what do you guys think of the tiny bar? The old man loved it in there, but look at this hat Nick's just spotted, look. Go on, Nick, <laughs> hit the button. <laughs> I can see her cutting a dash in that one, what do you reckon? <laughs> she doesn't think so, I do though. Anyway, let's go take a look in another tattoo shop. This tattoo parlor here, guys, now, my dad, bless him, he was not a fan of tattoos. You won't ever get me having one of them. But one year he come out here and he booked in there and he actually got a tattoo. He got the Land's Devil. The same tattoo I've got on my back. So, yeah, means a lot, that place. And uh, the tattoo means even more for us. Galleon 2. Me and my mate Al, he lost his wallet in there. He was sat on one of these seats here. Do you remember that, Al? Yeah, you were sat there and you lost your your wallet on that wall. And luckily, they kept it for you. Remember that one, sir? Opposite the side of the bowls here, look. Very nice, bit of beach frontage. Plenty of uh, places to get your tan on. Personally, I'm more a bar man myself. <laughs> I don't lay on beaches, I get a bit bored. But anyway, looks bloody good, doesn't it? Happy days. Stopped in at the, uh, what's this called, the American Indian, I think it is. It's been here for years, this place. It's like a rock and roll bar. So hot walking down that strip, so I had to stop to get myself a beer, because you know it'd be rude not to, guys. Oh, yes. Very sexist video, aren't they? Oh, well. Rock and roll. Anyway, 
we have a bag of uh, portion and chips for Mrs. OG. She's feeling a bit peckish. And then we're gonna head back to the pool, guys, where she's gonna jump in and have a float about. I might join her, you know, could do with a bit of a chill. Strolling back to the villa, guys. Bought myself another <laughs> six pack of tropical and a nice mint chocolate lolly. Mm. Mate. It's hot. Got it. Done it. So guys, I spent the afternoon doing a bit of editing uh, on this vlog that you're watching. Because I don't enjoy editing with a beer or two, of course. <laughs> what a perfect place to do it, though. Mate, it's hot. It's oh, stunning. Anyway, England, well done. For the, uh, the semi-final there, so you get on with that, and uh, yeah, it's quite good, so I'll watch a bit of that. And uh, well, I'm taking Mrs. OG out tonight, we're off for a Chinese meal. Now, when I do have a Chinese meal out here in Lands, I have to admit, they're usually pretty good. I'm off to one called Hong Kong <laughs> tonight. Very originally titled restaurant name, I know, but it's one I've used several times every time I come over. I'll pop in there, and it's one my mum and dad as well uh, used to use as well. Uh, they enjoyed it too, so uh, I'll be popping in there, but a crispy cat or whatever they're gonna throw at me and uh, go from there, eh? Oh, but I am looking forward to it, I have to admit. Sunday evening, guys, we're walking off to the Chinese restaurant, aren't we, Nick? 28 degrees, we just looked at the sign 28 degrees, half past eight at night, 28 degrees. Can't complain about that, can you? Anyway, we're all off to a Chinese tonight. We're going to a, a nice Chinese called, it's called Nick. I don't know. It's called Hong Kong. Oh. It's very originally oh, named. Yes, yeah, it's very original. <laughs> and I've been there before over the years enough to say it was very, very tasty. So uh, I'm hoping it's as good as how I recall. We shall soon see, watch this space. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, Nick, what have we ordered from the Chinese? What have we got coming? Varied starters. Varied starter, okay. Two, yeah. Got a quarter of duck. But you can have the vegetables. I'll eat the vegetables. Yep, yeah, I'll eat the duck. And then I've got a sweet and sour prawn. Sweet and sour prawn, yep. Yeah. And egg fried rice. And I've got. You've got a beef. <laughs> chow mein, beef curry? No. And no, Nick, I've not got a beef chow mein. I've got a Szechuan crispy chili beef. Very Ooh. nice. Szechuan meaning it's normally quite <coughs> hot, so I'm guessing it's like the, the chili beef we get at home okay. is open, so guys, cheers. I'm excited about this, I really am. <laughs> Hello, Nick. Hi, so this is the mixed starter, guys, right? I'm gonna try my best. Um, they are, what are they, Nick? <laughs> Prawn crackers. Chicken wings. Prawn, prawn toast. I'm guessing some sort of spring rolls. Nick said wonton, and these are like crispy, large, very large, crispy prawns. Sweet chili sauce, I'm guessing. Oh, sweet sour. Oh, sweet sour. Could be sweet chili, could be sweet sour. Anyway, let's tuck in. Had a chicken wing, which I've devoured. Had one of them prawn toasts. Quite thin, quite oily, I felt. Um, I'm going to try this wonton thing now, one of these huge crisps with something in the middle. Wish me luck guys. Not that wonton thing, not quite sure what was in the middle of that. Mm. But um, I'm going to try that big prawn now. <laughs> Now I was really looking forward to that, guys, and I have to say, 
bit disappointing to be fair. It's um yeah. I think all a bit overcooked myself, very tasteless. Um, a bit of shame really. Uh, hopefully the crispy duck will come up trumps and the mains will. But thanks. I think it was that eight euros ninety five. Ain't expensive really for what it is I suppose but no. I was not impressed at all. I'll probably order separate starters next time, I think. Get what I want. Um, yeah, just very deep fried and a bit tasteless. Shame, really. There you go. The beer's cold and wet. <laughs> this, is sac this is sacrilege. Look what Nick is doing with my drink. <laughs> Nick, it's a shot for me. It's not a hand wash. What sort of shot is that, do you think? Do you feel any guilt? Still in my drink to wash your hands? What is she like? It's looking good, Nick. Bit of duck. Although you're more interested in the vegetables. This crispy duck looks a lot better, guys. I'm happy about this. Yes, I'll get some of this down my neck. Happy days. Now, unfortunately, since Mrs. OG become a pestitarian, <laughs> it always makes me laugh. So I don't call it by its official word. She can't eat the duck, but I can. So she's having not the veggie bits in a wrap, which I'll show you now. And unfortunately, that means I have to have the duck to myself. <laughs> It's really bad. I don't know why I cope. I really don't. I made short work of that, guys. Um, that hoisin sauce was... It was different. It's more homemade, I think. A bit more garlicky and... Uh, but that were not bad, the duck. But again, the pancakes over here are always different anyway, so... Uh, I'll hold my judgement for the moment. Well, I, I think they've come up trumps with the mains, guys. There's the rice. That's my beef. That's Nick's King Prawn Sweet and Sour. She's looking good on that. I'll be honest, that looks really good. So, no, no, I'm fine, but I've got this. But I think they might have pulled this out of the bag at the last drop, you know. So as you can see there, 47 euro and six cents. Now, I mean, it was cheap. That was with two large beers, you know what I mean? The appetizer, uh, the crispy duck, and uh, of course them mains there. All in all, uh, the duck was lovely, very nice. The the starters were okay, don't get me wrong. The mains were, were, were okay. Nick's was the best out of them. Them prawns were a lot more tastier than, than my main. Um, so all in all, not too bad. And uh, you can't really complain at that price, can you guys? I mean, cheap as chips really um, but there are plenty of other Chinese out here so I will be giving some of them a go on another evening we're heading to the casino now have a little flutter casino's just over there look have a little flutter just been in the casino there guys Nick did all right I didn't film in there obviously because I know they don't like you filming in places like that so we didn't film in there but Nick I gave you 20 euros what did you turn it into Thirty-four fifty. So well done, up fifteen notes roughly. Uh, I'm up. Um, what did I put in? Twenty. What did I come out with? Twenty-eight twenty-five. Twenty-eight twenty-five. So we both won, and we both cashed out, and we both walked away, guys. Because gambling, kids, doesn't pay. Cash out when you can, my friends. Anyway, what's the plan now, Nick? Back to the villa. Back to the villa, guys. Oh yes, ready for a good night's kip. Good morning people, it's Monday morning and uh, it's been quite cloudy but the clouds just burning off now and the sun is coming through so happy days. Uh, got me out on to protect my little head, I'm a sensitive little thing, you know that. Uh, and we're off down to the shopping centre today, or this morning, because Mrs. OG really wants to play an escape room game. We've not played one for a while, so we're going to go and see if we can book that one there. Um, so we'll see how that one goes. Equally, we've had a, uh, it's a little known secret. Some of you may know this, some of you may not, but me, Mrs. OG, and a couple of uh, other family members used to run and own an escape room. Yes, we did. Does that make us any good at them? <laughs> Not really, does it? Uh, 
but Nick really enjoys them so and I enjoy them too don't get me wrong um, and the good thing about an escape room once you've finished there's always one thing you have to do and do you know what that one thing is you know it guys you got to go for a pint so uh, here's to me getting out in under an hour hopefully are you feeling confident Nick we've just booked it <laughs> as can be I'm feeling confident guys <laughs> Um, I've not had a beer today, so that's probably a good thing. So uh, my mind should be completely switched on. We booked a submarine game, something to do with a Soviet submarine and a nuclear bomb or some stuff. It's too realistic if you ask me at the moment. Just finished the escape room, guys. Look, they're getting ready for Christmas out here. And they've started putting the framework up for their big Christmas tree there. So Christmas is coming, guys. Get your wallets ready and your purses open, ladies, because we're going to want lots of gifts this year. Retro game related, of course. Been down to the old town harbour, guys. See through there, so we can go through the harbour, get a pint. Uh, and then I will tell you uh, my thoughts on the escape room there that we just played. A little church there, by the looks of things. Typical Spanish. Yeah, but yeah, nice bar here. This will do, I reckon. A couple of these, look. Escape room just done. What did you think, Nick? Yeah, I liked it. It was good. Different. It was actually. The ending was very different. Yeah, the ending was really good. The ending was different. But of course, no spoilers from yeah. us. But no, it was good. We haven't done one for a while. A bit rusty, weren't we? Oh, yeah, very rusty. We got out in 58, so we did it in under the hour. So you're lucky I'm out to do some more videos for you guys. So they let me out. Anyway, all in all, quite enjoyed. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it. An eight from me, yeah, seven or eight. Yeah, I'll give it a definitely an eight. Solid eight. Good. This is OG taking me off of the concrete pathways down onto some dodgy little walkway here. Look. look down there, look. The dog's loving it. See him? Look at that. Look at this. Tune right out. Oh, lovely and cold, aren't they? Happy days. Nice sound, that, isn't it, guys? Right. Little push there, just chilling. Look. Looks a bit evil to me. I won't get too close. Hello, mate. <laughs> you alright? Beautiful beach behind me, guys. Only a little one, but very popular with the divers. But it's that background noise there that you can hear. Oh, yes. What a beautiful day to be drilling and cutting tiles. Oh, yes. They love it. Just walked around from that point there. Made our way around, had to walk across that beach there, guys. Very soft and having a look at the rocks here, look. Can you spot the crabs there? Look, guys. So let's zoom in and let's get a look at these crabs. There's loads when you start looking. There you go, do you see them? Hmm. Well down there, look. Sitting on the rocks, just chilling. Enjoying the sunshine, eh? bit overcast today but that's not a bad thing it's still ridiculously hot though the humidity is, is hot 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 yeah. just chilling out Nick like me followed the path round and as you can see here I mean look at this bit of beach here look how beautiful that is I mean excuse Mrs OG's head for a minute but there we go it's quite a nice pathway this one, it leads right round, takes you around all the different beaches and stuff. So uh, we're going to carry on round until we get up to there. And over there, that's where the strip begins. So we've got another little beach walk here Nick, we've got to go back on them sands my dear. Let's do this. Another Chinese type effort tonight, this is more Thai Chinese street food it advertises itself as. So. Uh, We'll see what we're getting here. The menu looks quite promising, actually. It looks quite Japanese and stuff, so a bit of a mix. So, yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, 
thought of this one, guys. What you ordered, Nick? Uh, tempura prawn. Tempura prawn, very nice too. Are you having a starter? Is Rob having a starter? <laughs> ordered some more crispy duck this evening. And he tempted me, the fella. He says, go on, treat yourself. Because you're worth it, he said. So we got some, uh, I've got some ribs coming as well, salt and pepper ribs. Salt and pepper ribs, guys. Now these smell absolutely fantastic. Little tissue there to sort myself out afterwards, but I'm gonna tuck in. Those ribs were to die for, guys. And I've just bought this duck, check this out. There we go, look at that. I'm so looking forward to this. Look out, oh, pucker, mate, absolute pucker. There's my beef dish, guys. I didn't video it because I was too busy tucking in. Look at that tempura, look. Lovely light batter. A bit of sweet and sour sauce <coughs> and another beer. Happy days. There we have it, guys. A vlog of two halves. Oh, yes, two Chinese meals over two separate evenings. Two very different experiences. Um, Sunday was great. I mean, revisiting all them uh, old bars I used to go to with my dad, bless him. They were a lot of the, the pubs he used to frequent when he was here. It wasn't a big drink of me, Dad, bless him, but he could hold his own when he used to come out for a few beers. So anyway, Dad, this one's for you. Bless you. Oh, yes. He used to love it out of here. He really, really did. Um, and then, so, of course, we went to the the, um, the Chinese that night, me and Mrs. OG, Hong Kong. It's not how we remembered it. It used to be really amazing, but unfortunately it was not that great. Um, so it was all right. The staff in there are beautiful and lovely people. It's cheap, it's cheap. And I think you get what you're paying for, but it used to be so much better pre-COVID and when I was going there with the old man and what have you. And, uh, you know, and the next day we got up and we did that nice, nice walk around, you know, went round, uh, did the escape room. They weren't bad, actually. It was a decent escape room. Uh, I told a few of you good people used to run, own and run an escape room, so might be some new knowledge for you there. Uh, and, um, yeah, just all in all, we're just having a great, great time, guys. Uh, and a nice stroll back full of the coastal path round. That's quite newish, I think. I don't think that was there uh, when I come uh, four years ago. So that was good. I uh, walked through, went over the sand and all that, and a good few beers. But again, that Chinese yesterday, last night, was pretty amazing, guys. So, so fresh. Happy, happy days, honestly. Now, if you're enjoying these, drop a like, do all the good stuff, and let me know in the comments. Last holiday you went on, and the apologies you got booked, and the, the things you're looking forward to, guys. As always, if you don't already do so, hit the subscribe button. Makes me happy, man. Puts a smile on my face. But you already knew that. Anyway, guys, I'm loving Lanzarote, so that's the next part. There probably won't be one more vlog to follow, and then uh, that'll conclude the holiday. It's back to the video gaming and the collecting and all that good stuff that I do. Anyway, as always, guys, this beer is for you. Cheers, guys. Thanks for everything.